Wow, we did it guys, 100 million subscribers. Watch out Mr. Beast, I'm coming for you. Huh, huh, what was that? Oh, a million subscribers, oh. Well, hey, uh, that's, that's, that's pretty good too, right? Uh, I'm so funny. Anyways, so we just hit a million subscribers. Actually, not really just hit it. This was like New Year's Day, actually. I'm at like a million and 10,000 now. We're growing so fast. It's awesome. And I owe it all to you guys, 100%. I would be nothing without you guys. I would be just some nerd talking to a wall, but you guys give everything that I do meaning and value. So I am eternally grateful to you guys. I wanna be 100% clear about that. I love you. I'm so thankful to you and I appreciate you with every inch of my being. You've given me a career, my dream job. You've given me purpose and a reason to get up and do something in the morning. And for that, all I can say is thanks. When I started this YouTube thing, I didn't know where it was going to go or where this path was going to take me, but I just made a commitment. I said, I'm, this is what I want to do and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep pushing until it works out. There's no reason that I can't be a YouTuber just like Everybody else that's already done it. There's no difference between them and me. And it was hard when I first started getting 50 views, 100 views, thinking, why is this not working out? My content is good. It's just as good as everyone else. The editing is solid. But you want to quit. And I wanted to quit many, many times. But I always just thought back to the first time that I started where I made that conscious decision that even when I hit these roadblocks, even when it wasn't going my way, I wouldn't let that deter me and I would keep pushing. And I know this sounds really cliche, really like, you know, self helpy <laughs> you gotta just never quit, blah, blah, blah. But seriously, it all came down to that one decision. I told myself if it takes five years, 10 years, when I started, I was only 22. So I was like, you know what, even if this doesn't take off till I'm 30 or 31, at least I'll only be 31 and there's no way it can't work out within 10 years time, right? And it's true. And luckily it worked out by the end of the first year. It was a year of grinding, making the best videos I possibly could, getting zero traction, 50 views, 70 views. I remember this one time I posted a video. I was super happy with the video. And I looked back at the end of the day, I had 1500 views. I was so happy. I was like, this is my big break. I've made it. And then the next day, the views were back down to 50. <laughs> it was like some YouTube glitch or something. And I was back to square one. Nowhere further than where I began. But I didn't stop. Kept going. And look where we are today. A million chads a million chads in the making it's awesome man i can't even put it into words a million people that saw my videos and said i want to see more of this i like this and resonated with it it's incredible i don't even know what to say it's awesome so I didn't plan anything for this video i really just sat down and started talking i am going to do a little q a but I just want to like feel this moment, a million subscribers, you and me here together. We did this. I did the work, but you guys made the work worth it. And for that, you're just as much a part of this as I am. I know this is a bit scatterbrained and probably not flowing well, but I didn't want it to. I wanted it to just be in the moment, saying and expressing how I'm really feeling and forever I'll be able to look back at this. We all will be able to look back on this for what it is. Motivation maybe. Or maybe it's just this cool moment that you and I shared. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Now I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me some questions for this Q&A. Luckily you guys pulled through. I got some of them saved here. I'm going to answer some of these and this will be it. And then the next stop, 2 million. 10 million maybe someday, will that be something? All right, question number one. How much money does 1 million subscribers on YouTube bring home? 
Honestly, uh, the answer to that is uh, zero. <laughs> Subscriber count is a vanity metric on YouTube. It really doesn't mean anything, doesn't make you any money. All it is is something that looks cool <laughs> and kind of a, uh, it's a milestone that people can see how many people like your content, right? What really brings home the money is views and CPR. That is the money that you are paid per view, right? And unfortunately, I am in a field on YouTube that doesn't pay very well at all. <laughs> I get paid like one and a half to two dollars per thousand views, which is not great. And you can do the math. That's why I need to have other sources of income such as OnlyFans, brand deals, and my newest stream, which I'm super excited about, my new jump. Gum. <laughs> my new gum product, Brett's Jawline Chewing Gum. I've been wanting to make this for a long time and it finally has come to fruition. So it's a chewing gum that is 10 to 15 times harder than normal chewing gum to help build that jawline. If you're interested, go check it out. Link in description. Oh, did you hear that? Damn. Why did you stop modeling? So I stopped modeling after just a couple of years because my heart just wasn't in it. My goal was never actually to be a model. Modeling was always supposed to be a stepping stone and a little uh, kind of resume builder. I always wanted to just do a few years of modeling to have that as some social proof. And I successfully did that. I used my uh, shots and my uh, accolades from my years modeling in a lot of my videos to give social proof to say, yes, I have an authority. I was a model and uh, that's why you should listen to me. And it seems to have worked out pretty well. Part of the reason I have a million subscribers now. Um, so that's why I quit. Once YouTube started working out and I started having success, I uh, gradually phased out the modeling part of my life. Will I ever do it again? Maybe. What body part are you most insecure about and why? <laughs> That's such a good question and I will answer it, although I don't like revealing my flaws or insecurities because I don't think it's smart to bring attention to them because most of the time they will go unnoticed by most people except for yourself. But then once you make them apparent, people will start noticing them more. So one of my biggest flaws that I will reveal that is not really a secret at all, it's my calves. I genetically have small calves. Um, I'm tall and lengthy and, and I have high calf insertion. So genetically, I have very small and stubborn calves. But, uh, you know, I've come to terms with it. <laughs> I'd rather be tall with small calves than, you know, a short king with big juicy calves. So. I'm cool with it. Why did you start an OnlyFans? <laughs> I get this question a lot and uh, I've been meaning to answer it. Uh, and the answer is very simple, kind of like I touched on before. It's great money. <laughs> it's very good money and it's very low effort money. I'm not gonna bullshit you guys. I'm not gonna, oh yes, I just have a passion for taking pictures of myself. <laughs> no, it's good money, man. And it's way easier than YouTube. I'd like to sit here and say I'm holier than thou. It's one of the highest returns on investment possible. So why not take advantage of it when I'm in the position that I'm in right now? And also it's just really good business experience. You are running a little business. You have to, you're selling a product different forms of products. There's different forms of promotion that you have to practice and you have to understand the audience. It's, it honestly feels like you're, you're running like a video game business, but the money is real and it's kind of prepared. I feel like it's preparing me well for like other business ventures I will enter into later on. So for that reason, I do OnlyFans. So yeah, I don't really give a shit about the negative stigma of OnlyFans. It's good money, boy. Have you been dumped? No, I haven't been dumped because I've only been in one real like official relationship. And that's the one I'm in currently with my girlfriend, Chloe. And, uh, you know, I've had other relationships come to an end, you know, just little flings or whatever, where, um, you know, we weren't right for each other. And the girl told me that she wasn't feeling the same way, which kind of still sucks. But it's, you know, not a real breakup, I guess. So I guess sort of, I don't know. You can decide, let me know. <laughs> and building off of that, I think it's actually a good thing. Rejection is a great tool to use. It sharpens you as a person. If you're a person who has never had rejection, then you are simply not equipped for the struggles and the hardships that are gonna come to you in life. So uh, embrace the rejection, embrace the struggle. 
Who are your best friends that are on YouTube and who would you never collaborate with? That's a really good question. My, I'll answer the first part first. My best friends that are also on YouTube. There's a lot. Well, I guess not a lot, a lot, but my OG friends are Alex Costa. He was one of the first YouTubers I met. Mario Adrione, my first collab ever. Uh, Marcel Flores, you know, one Dapper Street. Um, newer friend is Brandon Williams. Uh, I really love his vlogs. I'm kind of like trying to model my vlog channel after his content. I just think it's so incredible. Um, and who would I never want to collaborate with? Ah, I don't want to be negative on here. So I'll share with you who I would love to collaborate with. Uh, I think it'd be really cool to collaborate with uh, Hamza or um, Cole Hastings. I really love both of their content. Uh, let me think who else. And the podcast that I would love to be on the most, who I've been watching for years, probably my favorite YouTube channel is uh, Just Kidding News. So shout out to those guys. I'd love to come on sometime. I'm just a phone call away. Hit me up, please. <laughs> Your favorite anime. Oh man, <sighs> that's so tough. Um, I think I'm gonna have to say My Hero Academia. The scene where um, All Might fought All For One is a single scene that gave me the most chills in an anime ever before. So that's like one of my favorite scenes. Uh, the scoring, the music, it's just a fucking epic moment. So, uh, probably MHA. What's your future plans for 2023? 2023 is already here. We're already 10 days into this thing. I have big plans. Uh, my biggest plan I would say is to grow my vlog channel. I really want to get that popping. I'd love to have over 100k subscribers with a few viral videos under my belt by the end of the year. I think that'd be really cool. Other than that, grow this bad boy. I, I want this to become like a big signature product within within YouTube and modeling. I want this to be like a common brand, like Logan Paul's Prime, but of the modeling world or uh, or the looks maxing YouTube world. So just growing this, scaling that business, um, also growing my main channel, obviously, but I would say the vlog channel is a big thing. And with that, I think that's a pretty good place to stop. Uh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> One million. Just once again, thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me through the ups and downs. I know this, uh, th these last like 500 subs, these last 500 subscribers have kind of been like a crawl. <laughs> My channel really went like, <laughs> this has not been smooth seas, but as the old saying goes, smooth seas do not make a skillful sailor. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, peace.